Alright, hello, so this is going to be a quick video on how to install firmware updates on the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme second generation using Arch Linux and using the new, I don't know if it's new, but the, using the FW something, hold on, FW LPD daemon manager thingy it's really cool it basically allows you to install drivers directly from the manufacturer via linux and it's really cool so here's a little demonstration i've got a bios update so i'm going to click update it's going to download the 25 megabyte update if my internet connection allows me to be fast enough. So an update has been installed, I need to restart. Yes, sir, let's go. So now the computer is going to restart and it should install the update. So it found a new capsule. Okay, then it's going to reboot the machine, I think. So it says installing firmware update. And there's like a little loading bar okay there we go I hope it won't take a lot of time because I've got work to do. And also I noticed that the fans are very very high like on Linux, they are on all the time. So it, I'm kind of concerned, maybe there's a configuration I need to fix or to do something else, but I don't know. On Windows, I do not have this problem that much. Like on idle, the system is kind of quiet. But on Linux, even if the system is idle, I I, I keep hear, I keep hearing the, the fans. So it's kind of, it's kind of disturbing to work, but Hopefully I will be able to fix that soon. Also, I've only got the computer like yesterday, so it's just brand new. I just installed Linux a couple of hours ago. Okay, so 
the computer is restarting. Self-healing, BIOS backup progressing. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so the backup is almost complete. And I think it's going to restart once again. Okay. One more time. Maybe this is the final one. Yep, seems like it. So let's boot onto Arch. And let me enter my password. Okay, so my boot drive is about to be decrypted. And now let me log in. And now I'm back onto the GNOME desktop. So if I open up GNOME software, where's my mouse? And I go into updates, I can see my software is up to date. So firmware update on Linux, super easy. Highly recommended. Thanks guys for the hard work.